Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today's video is day two of back to school week. When you're seeing this, this will be the second video, but as I'm recording this video, it is Sunday, the night before our first day of school. So it's been a long day, it's late, my kids are in bed. It's really hot here, so if I'm uh, sweating, that's why. Um, I just got home from delivery driving and I'm just getting stuff set up for the first day of school. So I just wanted to show you what I have set up for the first day, what our plan is for the first day and kind of what is our slow start, a little bit of our slow start schedule. What have I done to prepare for the first day of school as well as what do I have as far as supplies? What back to school supplies did I pick up for my kids this year? So if you're interested in that, stick around. Let's get into this video. So if the lighting for this video is a little weird, it is nighttime, so just doing my best with the lighting here. But let's take a look at my corner over here and I'm just going to kind of talk about what I have here on the board as well as some of the things that I have prepared. So tomorrow's video, you're going to see my morning basket and how I plan out my morning basket. So I'm just gonna move that aside, but that is ready for the first day of school. All right, so, so the lighting's not great, but here is what we have planned all week. And I think we're going to do school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Wednesday is going to be like, I guess a field trip, <laughs> field trip to the fair. So those are the days we're going to be doing school. And then on Friday, my sister and brother-in-law are coming to stay the night on Thursday night. So we won't do school on Friday, which is perfect. We don't wanna do a full week on our first week of school. And even next week, we'll probably just do a four day week as well. So it's going to be Monday. The first thing we're going to be doing is World Watch News. I'm going to try that out as the first thing of each day this year just to see if something casual where we just watch something will be a good start for my kids. I do have kids with ADHD and it takes a little while for medication to kick in and for them to be willing to do schoolwork. So I'm hoping starting the day with World Watch News will be a good start. If you're interested in World Watch News, it is a Christian kids news program. My friend has told me a whole bunch about it. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. So the next, we're going to be doing Bible. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video, I will talk about all the things I'm doing for Bible. So you do wanna check that out. As well as morning basket. What's in my morning basket? So we're going to be doing that. I am going to be skipping language for the first day of school. Our language is going to be Chinese and Spanish this year. And we're going to alternate those. Um, so I probably will do that on the second day of school. So maybe today, the day you're watching this, I might be doing language. I am not exactly sure if I'm going to just do Chinese for a bit and then add in Spanish or if we're going to start Spanish straight off the bat. So we'll, I don't know, still deciding things like that. Then we're going to be doing our read aloud. I will try to get to that my first day of school and I'm not going to try to do anything else after that. I think if we get this far on our first day, we'll be doing well. Maybe our second day we might add in some group subjects. My kids will not be starting their independent work this week. Still not feeling super prepared to do that. My girl's science, I haven't got it all figured out yet. So I'm hoping to get their independent work started next week, very lightly going through each subject with each of my kids and just making sure they know what's expected of them. So kind of a slow start of the independent work next week along with our group stuff. So tomorrow is really just getting our feet wet getting a few things started, getting ready for school by 9.30, and that's going to be our start time for all of next week, all of this week. And we'll see what our start time is next week. We'll see if we might keep it the same or if we might adjust it a little bit earlier. My normal start time is 8.45. That's just what has worked well for our family. For the past few years, it's early enough for me to feel like we can get through what we need to before afternoon obligations and not so early that my teen freaks out. So that is what is happening over here. 
So a few other things that I did to prepare for the first day of school and just school in general. Um, I picked up some of the not consumed reading journals. I have not talked about that at all because it was, I'm just adding stuff right now that I never plan on doing. So I purchased the PDF for the elementary and the middle school reading logs. And then my plan was to have my boys do the elementary and then my girls do the middle school ones. And my oldest, she decided she wanted to do the elementary ones and I'm actually really happy that she did because we have not done a lot of, of what analysis of reading. And so I think it'll be a good thing for her to start off with. My other daughter will be doing the middle school one and I think she'll be ready for that. So I have been printing and laminating and binding and things like that. Um, so this is just one example. In yesterday's video, you saw that I was planning, I was printing out all my math stuff. So that is sort of where I'm at right now. I'm still trying to get everything done. I'm going to bring you over to our dining room table and just show you what each of my kids are getting as well as general supplies that I got for our school. So actually, before I go over there, I just wanted to talk about a few homeschool traditions that we have in our family. So the first one is we like to do a back to school breakfast at my friend's. She owns a cafe. And so we like to go to her cafe for breakfast. And so that is our back to school breakfast. And we did that on Friday so that she's not open on Monday. So we couldn't go on our first day of school, but we did that on Friday in anticipation of starting school on Monday. Then my kids were in public school for one of them up to five years, six years. So my kids were in public school. So they were sort of used to getting some back to school clothes and doing back to school, school supplies, shopping and things like that. And when we started homeschooling, I didn't want to make things too different. And I wanted them still to be excited about the start of the new school year. So we kept up some of the traditions that we had when they were in public school. I always let them pick out a, an outfit or a shirt and pants or whatever for school that we just did one. Um, obviously we get kids clothing as they needed, but they would just get to pick out one pant and shirt combination for the beginning of school. So we did do that. We went last week and went shopping at Walmart and they picked something. Most of them picked something. My middle daughter is a lot more particular about the clothing that she wears. She's very happy with finding unique pieces at like Value Village or something like that. So she saved her money and she'll be buying clothing at some point when she finds it. But my other three found things that they liked so they purchased something for that. And then back to school supply shopping things if you're homeschooling, you really don't have to buy school supplies at the beginning of the year. Obviously you can buy it whenever you need it. And I do try to only buy things that we need in general. And I do replenish as needed throughout the school year. However, it is fun and exciting to get new school supplies at the beginning of school. It just helps create that excitement. And I think it makes things a little smoother when we're starting out the school year. So I will purchase things that I think my kids need for school that year. I make a list based on the curriculum that we have. How many notebooks? Do we need binders? What sorts of things we need? I make sure I pick those up. But I also give my kids a back to school shopping kind of allowance. So they each get $10 to spend on just fun school supplies, whatever they feel like they want that will make school fun for them. So they get to purchase those and then I collect it all and save it for the first day of school. And then I kind of arrange it on our dining room table so that when they wake up, it's like Christmas and they get to see all their new school supplies along with anything that I purchased for them that school year. So I'm gonna turn you around and I'm going to take you over to our dining room table and show you what we got and how it's all laid out for my kids and what they're going to see in the morning when they wake up and we start our first day of school. Okay, so I'm going to start with my youngest son here. Hopefully my camera is not too shaky. 
So first of all, I like to get them some treats. So I bought some things from Costco just to have some fun snacks on the first day of school. We don't do any special breakfast or anything like that. So that's just like a snack they can have while we're having school or something. We don't usually get things like that. So it's a special treat for them. Then here, there is a water bottle. Um, I decided this year, everyone needed a new water bottle. Sometimes I will do backpacks. Sometimes I will do lunch boxes. And sometimes I will do water bottles, usually one of those three each year. And we just decide what is needed that year. So this year they get new water bottles because their water bottles are getting kind of gross. All right, so here are a few things that I have. Um, these are from last year. I just had some mechanical pencils that I got last year and we used them for a bit and then they got put away for various reasons. <laughs> So each of my kids get two mechanical pencils. This is one of the things he bought with his $10. He really likes drawing, so he likes having black pens for that. He also got this whiteout and a compass and protractor. Even though he's not really in that math, he just thinks that's cool. So that's fine, they get to spend their $10 on any school supplies they want. I bought him and his brother a pencil sharpener just because I feel like they could use it and I got everyone an eraser. I don't often put a whole bunch of curriculum here. I might put their binder and it might be set up, but I didn't this year because we're just continuing a lot of the stuff in their binder. So their binder's not new and we're just continuing from what we had in there last year. But the Big Life Journal for kids is going to be new for him. So I put that there. I had a bunch of these. I had like four so or five of these. So I just decided to take them out of my supplies and just give each kid one of these so they can have that for their three ring binder, kind of a pencil case. I think I got this at Walmart. So I got that one for the sun and that was probably from the Dollar Tree. Most of these things were from Walmart and some of these things were things I just had already. Um, yeah, so that is what my youngest son got this year. Right, I'm gonna go over here. This is my daughter, my oldest daughter. So this is what she got. So same thing, treats, and she got a teal, teal or blue, no, I guess blue water bottle. Things she bought for herself with her $10, she bought this little stapler. She bought these highlighters. She bought a whole bunch of mechanical pencils. Um, she bought this whiteout. I'm not sure how she got all these things, but I guess she got all those things with her $10. And then I have the two mechanical pencils that I'm giving each of my kids. Um, I bought the, the girls these little sticky notes because I like I like these little post-its. They're great for just keeping your spot, whatever you're doing. And you'll notice that the girls have a little more here and that's because I'm gonna show you what I got the boys along with. It's not here yet, it'll be here tomorrow. So I'm just going to put a screenshot at the end here what I got the boys. So I'm just trying to Give the girls a few more things because of that so i got them these pens and we have a eraser and some more sticky notes and then um just a few new things for them so this is going to be their devotions so starting strong and us born year of writing so this is going to be they're going to be writing in that this year and then i got them each this it is a blank notebook for drawing because they are into drawing right now so that's not really for school that's for whatever they want it for and then i got two notebooks so obviously she's my dog lover so we got two dog notebooks for her and then this here is her planner so i told you before that my girls are going to be using planners this year so when we were at walmart i decided just to let them pick out planners that they wanted. So that's what that looks like. I didn't look too closely at this. I'm hoping that it has the setup. Yeah, so it has the setup that I need for them to have. So that obviously is my dog lovers planner. So I'll have to, I'll set that back up the way it was. Okay, so over here, Maybe I'll come back to this. This is my pile of other stuff I got. So we'll go over here to my middle son. So this is my middle son. Same thing, treats, water bottle, and eraser. 
I have this here already. And so he got, he's more of a shark lover. So we got that notebook, this Jurassic World notebook, and a new handwriting or print thing, uh, printing book that I got for him because he's my son who struggles with writing. So we're going to be alternating between handwriting or cursive and printing with him this year. And then the two pens or two mechanical pencils that I got each of my kids. And as you notice, they all have different colors. So if anyone loses them, they know whose are whose. Or if anyone gets broken, we know whose is whose. A pencil sharpener for him. He picked up a ruler. He picked up this compass and protractor and this large stapler. So not sure what he's gonna do with that, but like I said, they get to pick up what they want with their school supply money. So before I forget, this is what I'm picking up for my boys. Um, I got something like this for my girls probably when they were around the same age and it's been summer and so the boys have been staying up a little later and reading and they're just getting older so I thought it'd be nice if they had little reading lights that they could read with at night so that they don't disturb if someone wants to go to sleep the other person can go to sleep a little earlier so I'm hoping that this will be okay my youngest is quite notorious for destroying things so I'm hoping these will last a while I'll link in the description box below a link to this in case you are interested in something like this okay so over here to my middle daughter much of the same we got water bottle treats her mechanical pencils, little sticky notes, uh, eraser, these sticky notes, her little pencil case, and same over here, we have the two books. We have the writing and starting strong. This is her drawing, her drawing notebook, and then two notebooks for her. I'm not sure if she'll like the panda one, but she's a little pickier, so. She can trade that in with something else if she doesn't like it. Um, and then this is the planner that she picked, so a little bit bigger, also from Walmart. And yeah, so it's laid up, it's set up like that. So yeah, I was happy with that layout, so no problem. So that is her planner this year. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to some art supplies that I picked up this year, um, mostly Let's see, this is mostly because my daughter is doing artistic pursuits. So these are some of the things they asked for. So we have some brushes. We have these, I don't know, they're called knives, I guess, but they're for acrylics. Um, I got, I don't know, what is this? Acrylic, yes, so. And some watercolor paper. And I also got some multimedia, multimedia paper because we were running low. So. Some, most of those are because she's doing that art and just reminded me that I have a few more things I need to purchase on Amazon. Then over here is my final pile of things I purchased this year. It looks like a lot this year. I think I went a little bit more this year than normal, but I think, yeah, I was just restocking some things. So for example, these colored pencils, I got two 12 packs and one 24 pack because we are, actually this is the first time I've purchased these. So this is our fourth year of homeschooling and I've not purchased these because we had so many from before. So I'm just hoping to replenish the regular colors that get used up. So I got some of those this year. And then I've just been picking up composition notebooks. The reason why is I think we're moving more into that. I was using more of a binder system, but I think we're moving more into keeping the books as is and my kids are just needing more notebooks so I just have some notebooks for them to choose from if they need a notebook besides what they already have or they want to exchange so these two are just Dollar Tree Dollar Tree notebooks and I believe this is a Dollar Tree notebook um, this is my daughter's pouch it wasn't there so I'm gonna put that over there I was just trying to flatten it <laughs> another Dollar Tree notebooks there we go I believe these are all Dollar Tree notebooks here. So just replenishing my stock. I do have a little pile. So if we need one, and I try to do different ones because I did buy a lot of the same, but then all my kids have the same notebooks and it's hard to know whose are whose. So just picking up those. 
Then I got these. If anyone wants to put these at the end of their pencil, they can. So I'm just going to make that available. Always need more erasers. People are always using up all the erasers. Running low on paper, so I purchased some lined paper. We have absolutely no construction paper, so I thought I'd pick up a pack of that. It might be the last time I have to do that as my kids are getting older. Um, I purchased these for myself because I like these, and there's different kinds. So in case mine run out, I do have some, but they might run out. And of course, pencils. So that is, let's see, here we go. That is our back to school supply table. Like I said, it looks like a lot right now, but yeah, I guess that's what we're doing this year. So thanks for joining me this week. Thanks for coming and watching my prep with me for homeschool video, our back to school supplies, and just what we're doing for our first day of school video and tomorrow's morning basket, how I pick the things I put in my morning basket. If you like videos like this, don't forget to stick around, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.